I'm taking off again. President's tense. Big white house. Big white fence. The industry fake. I can't get involved. These niggas capping. Haven't even seen the shit that I saw. So I posted a uh, screenshot that I took in my notes on on my Instagram, and I know some of y'all don't have Instagram, so if uh, y'all can put some suggestions of a camera that um, that I can get, because that's what I posted. I was like, I was looking for a camera, and I love Canons, and I was thinking about getting a T Canon Rebel T3i, um, but that's like dated as hell, but See, the most important thing for me as a camera is like, the sound is good. Um, I wanna be able to flip the screen so I can see myself, right? Um, record in great quality, great you know resolution, 1080 or higher. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. Um, cameras that are specifically for uh, made to record, you know, film, YouTube, right? Um, but yeah, so if y'all can, if y'all have any suggestions on cameras, that uh, you know, that would be nice. It's good. Um, price range definitely under a thousand dollars, because I'm in no position to you know be spending thousands of dollars. Um, but yeah. So, I love Canons. But, oh, so, if I can get, like, a Canon Rebel, like, T6 or T7 or whatever, I would I would get that if there's, like, an accessory where I can see myself. Because I don't think with a T6 or a T7 or something like that, I don't think there's, like, it doesn't come with the camera flipped. So, I can't see myself. Like, that's the most important, like... The resolution, sound, and being able to see myself as I'm recording. That's what I love. Yeah. But if there's like an accessory that I can add to the camera, then I would definitely get like a T6 or T7 or something like that. But yeah, man. Uh, but I love Canons, but... If there's a camera out there that has great resolution, great sound, and I can see myself, you know, flip the screen, I can see myself, right, while I'm recording, that's not a Canon, let me know that in the comment section below and put, like, the price or whatever. But let's get it. Sup? No. True Creepy Stalker. When I was around 14 years old, I always went on the internet. And I wow, you know what I was doing when I was 14? I was 14. I only stayed in front of the house and maybe every once in a while, right? Uh, go go up the street to the stop sign and then that's that's like as far as I can go and then come back. You feel me? Uh, what else? What else? What I was doing? Definitely wasn't on the internet. Um. When I was 14, 14, um, playing video, I was either outside or playing video games. I was not, definitely I wasn't on, on the, on the, uh, and, well, when I was 14, what was it? What was it? Eight, eighth, eighth grade, ninth grade, right? But I wasn't, yeah, my, my focus was definitely not on the internet, um, but, yeah, so you already clocking up. Off. Bucks. I was gonna, you know, be extra. I was thinking about it. But sometimes. Off box! This app called Discord. After right. a while of having a Discord, I met a boy wow. named Luke. He, uh... We started talking for a while, and one day, he asked me what I looked like. Without thinking, I sent him a picture of me. Wow. He told me that I was beautiful and that he loved my long, dark hair and how I did my eyeliner. Sus? I just said thanks, 
thinking nothing of it. Around a week later, he told me that he loved me. Wow. And I felt the same way about him. Wow. We had... Wow. No! Why did I smack? I smacked the bed like... Like there was a bug on my bed or something. I was like, no! <laughs> Um, it definitely, if I was, if I was able to, like, go into the screen, I would have smacked the hell out of you, because you're doing some dumb stuff like this. You, 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 you already on some bullshit, uh, bull, bullshit, chips. Can I say chips? Chips. That, does that sound good? Chips. Bull chips. Bull chips? Bull chips. How do y'all feel about that? Bull chips. Um, I'm working on it. It's in, it's in, it's in, it's in work in progress. Bull chips. But yeah, you definitely bull chipping right now. <laughs> um, and I feel like, I really feel like you and the rest of your family is a clock family. Like y'all was born like that. So, I mean, and Luke, Luke, the name, that name, Luke. Is added to that that clock name list. You know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Like that clock name list. Like you got you got now you got Luke. What you got? You got Adam. You got Craig. You got who? You who? Who else you got? It's been a minute since I I uh, I talked about like the like the list of names. I forgot. Dang, I forgot like the list. But if any, any, if any of you all like know the list, add Luke to the list. You got Luke, you got Adam, you got Craig. <sighs> hmm. Oh no, I forgot. All right, let's go. So much in common. Luke was very good looking too. Yeah, all right. He had a different style from normal people. Long neck. He wore a mask. And always wore the color black. Size. A while later, I realized it started becoming too much for me. What I'm saying? He would always ask me personal questions like where I lived. Wow. And I told him I lived in California. He also lived in California and said he wanted to run away and meet me. Yeah, he I said that our relationship was going to get real. Like hell it is. talking every day and he got so overprotective and would text to me every few minutes. Jesus. One day, I was home alone because my parents were on a trip to celebrate their 20th anniversary. There it is. I didn't mind until it became nighttime. Cluck you. It was so dark outside and it gave me the chills. I decided to close all the windows and make sure that the doors were locked. I mean, having your windows closed is pop. Okay, no, I mean, that's good. But it's probably just as bad as leaving you, your, like, having no curtains or, like, no blinds. You feel me? Like, I just see you close the, uh, the window or windows. But I mean, it's you. Speak, you can clearly see, still see in your your in your house. So I mean, having having windows with with no curtains or whatever is just as bad as you having your windows unlocked, wide open. Jesus, help this girl. I sat in my living room and watched some TV. After around 20 minutes, I heard a knocking sound coming from the window behind me. No, you didn't. I realized I didn't pull the blinds over it and that some kids were probably playing tricks on me. Close it. I got up and went to the window. Close it. I got closer, my heart kept beating faster and faster. I looked out the window and no one was there. All right, close it, close it. So I just closed it with the blinds and sat back down. Close the other one. After that, I got a message from Luke. He said, let's meet up now. Wow. 
I told him I was busy and that I couldn't, but he said that I wasn't. Whoa, mother clucker. He could see me. I felt so afraid and told him to stop scaring me because I was home alone, which I really shouldn't have told him. Uh, I asked him how he knew where I lived, and he told me that he looked on Snapchat and found my exact location so he could meet up with me whenever he wanted. I was so afraid. I heard a knock on the door, and a teen boy's voice tell me to open the door. It sounded so attractive, and I knew that it had to be Luke. I stayed still and didn't know what to do. I was home alone, and no one could defend me when I'm alone. Don't do nothing! I texted him and told him to leave me alone now. Luke knocked again and said he wasn't going to leave. Long neck header. I finally got up and opened the door. God. I would have been so mad if that water, like that little bit of water got on my laptop. Oh my god. Now I got checked for any water. <laughs> oh my god, I would have been pissed. This reaction would have been done. Over. Like, yeah. Yeah. There he was, standing there, ever so tall. Jesus. He smiled and bit his lip and invited himself in. How do you know he- I told him several times to leave, but he didn't listen. Then he went quiet, and I tapped his back. He ripped- Now you're touching him, motherfucker. Okay, so you, you, you asked him to leave, and he, he acted like you didn't say nothing. Okay, if I'm a, um, if I'm as clear as day- and I ask you to leave. Right? If I say, can you leave, please? I was very nice. I was very, I was very polite. Right? I know I'm in a clutch up situation. And I'm trying to keep myself. I'm putting myself in her shoes. Because there's not a chance in hell that me, Gator, will ever be in this situation. But I'm putting myself in her shoes. I'm being nice. I'm being polite. Can you leave, please? You heard every word in that sentence. And I was, I was as clear as day. And you act like I didn't just say nothing. I didn't, I, I, you act like I just didn't say nothing. Really? You just want to keep going. Keep walking deeper in my house. Okay. So you're not going to leave? Well, I'm going to leave. Okay. All right. Because you're doing too much right now. Now, now you're touching this motherfucker. Like, you're doing too much. If he not going to leave, then you leave. Somebody has to leave. Somebody has to leave. Please. His mask off to reveal all the scars he had around his lips. Herpes. I froze in shock and told him to please leave. Chlamydia. Wow. I was so angry, I didn't even care. He got then he smiled Ew. creepily and Ew. ran downstairs to the kitchen and I ran after him. He was holding a knife and then ran after me. I ran outside, hid in the bushes, and called 911 as fast as I could. The police arrived quickly. They found him. But what was even more creepy was that he smirked at me when they took me to their car. I called my parents shortly after and told them everything and they came home. I never want to stay home alone again. It nope. creeps me out. I deleted Discord and blocked him before I did. Having an internet boyfriend will haunt me forever. And I will never forget the creepy smirk he gave me. You could tell Luke had AIDS, chlamydia, right? He had genital herpes, regular herpes, super herpes. You know, he had, yeah, he had all of that. All right here. He had to clap. I think that's the same thing as Clint. I don't know.
That's nasty. That's disgusting. Um, but see, one of the one out of the many red flags that was in this video, one of the red flags was you met somebody online, right? And they talking about they love you. See, the problem with that is you have to be careful with love, you know? So it's, it, it, it's, no, it's not a chance in hell that that God, Luke, loved you. He probably loved killing people, but not you. you know, um, so with that being said, how many of you all, this people that's watching, how long would it take Right? You're in a relationship. Right? Um, how long do you think for you, you know, personally, would it take for your partner or yourself to say, I love you? Because that right there was not love. He didn't love her. You feel me? But how long would it take for either you or your partner to, to literally say, I love you and like mean it? Cause you can't be out here just saying, I love you. Cause that's a strong word. You feel me? Like you say, I, I feel like if you say, I love you to, to your partner, then you gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta be with that person for a very long time. You can't just, you can't just say, Oh, I love you. Like, Nothing. And I hope I, I hope y'all y'all not one of those people that like after you have sex you immediately say like like you immediately say I love you like nah no hey <laughs> you got it <laughs> nah you are gonna keep that um cause I've I've been through that before you feel me like I've loved somebody before and. You know, like, you just, you can't, you can't just be throwing that around. Like, you can't be playing with people's emotions like that. Um, but, yeah. So, if you're on a, if you're, if you're using a dating app, which I highly suggest you don't, because you, if you do, you're clocking up to the max. But, if you do, and somebody hits you with the I love you, and you still haven't met that person in person, like you're still talking through the dating app or whatever, and you still have never met that person, and they talking about I love you. Yeah, it's time to cut ties. It's time. It's time to cut your losses, player. I'm I'm dead ass. Um, but yeah, that's that's where she uh one of the places areas that she clocked up um and yeah if anybody ever comes to you and their mouth is bleeding they got herpes chlamydia clap aids all that they got the whole nine they got all that and some but i'm i'm, <laughs> I'm joking <laughs> i mean i don't know you know because i can't be the only person that thinks when whenever somebody has a cold sore on their lip, I'm thinking you got something. It's not just a cold sore, like you got something like stay away from me. I need that lead. You need to be six miles out, please. <laughs> I'm so serious. Like anybody that got something on their lip, like a little bump or whatever. Hey, I don't know what you were doing last night or a couple of days ago, but I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, keep stay stay the hell away from me. Play it. Keep it cool, keep it classy, and I love you. Stay happy, my family. <laughs>